Jeff with Seafloor Systems. Today we're going to be going over the Hydrolyte DFX, uh, the dual frequency echo sounder. Basically look at all of its components and then a quick little setup video. So starting off, we have the transducer itself. Um, the front of the transducer um, is going to be this wider face right here where the table or cable is coming out. Um, next we have the Sonormite DFX top side box and Velcro pouch. This is just so you can mount it to one of your survey poles. I have two survey poles right here. Um, this is the charger for the top side box. You just plug this into the XDR port on the front here. And there will be an LED light that blinks green when it's finished charging and solid green while it is charging on this little box right here. Uh, next we have the RS-232 serial data cable. So this plugs into the PC port on the front of the Sonormite top side box and then goes to a DB9. These aren't as standard as they used to be, so we supply a DB9 to USB serial adapter that you can use it with any computer and terminal program. Um, obviously we have our survey poles. This one has the mount on it for the DFX. And then uh, hardware and the transit mount. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and connect the transducer to the mounting bracket. Now that that's connected, we're going to go ahead and put our transom mount on. So there's a little locking screw up here. Um, you want to make sure that's loose before you try sliding it over. Top the pole here. Do it right about here, just the top. Make sure that's tight so it doesn't move around. And then we'll add a second pole on top. From here we can attach our Sonormite box to the pole. Just like that, tighten it on. And then to power on the unit, we're gonna want to stand this over real quick. Plug in the transducer to the XDR port on this box. And there should be a LED that illuminates when that is plugged in. There you go. That's the basic setup of the Hydrolyte DFX.